beautiful soul welcome back to my channel this is divine light and today we're gonna be looking into your next seven days i'm gonna start out by pulling your symbols first and i'm going to move on to your coffee cup and saucer this is going to be collective after that we're gonna have for each sign a specific message a tarot message and also oracle if you would like to see that part of your specific sign you can go ahead and check in the description box as well as the first comment there's going to be a timestamp right in front of your sign you can click on that and all readings are intended for sun moon rising and venus sign so if you are interested in the other aspects go ahead and check those ones out by the way if you go on to enjoy this reading don't forget to just subscribe and support the channel let's dive in right away we have the frying pan trouble accusations but the elephant's also showing up here a long journey either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end another meaning of the elephant is actually to indicate long-term stability financial security and generational wealth frying pan i feel like here maybe there might be some issues that you're going through regarding financial wealth there is going to be resolving in the long run you're going to have the success and the wisdom that you need in order to achieve your goals i'm using here terahertz quest crystal this is a very high energy crystal so you can rise your vibration and bring your desires faster let's jump in right away let's see what's coming your way it's good to have like a specific subject uh, focus on um if you would like the specific answers to come forth and i have here a crescent moon on the bottom and it's the light is actually starting to show uh, that can symbolize Chris, crescent moon is uh, your wish fulfillment your legal accomplishment if you are actually after some successful endeavors it is coming ahead it seems like in the beginning of the week this is like the weekend part this is uh this is for the next seven days this is um the middle of the week right this moment but you can actually calculate it from that moment on whenever that you're watching I, i'm going to interpret it as i see it here this is going to be the weekend part of your reading on the weekend i see a volcano appearing here and we have the frying pan the trouble and the accusation can come out because i see the fiery part of it in the weekend maybe a personal relationship i don't feel like this is going to be something related to job or work um, this can be maybe with your personal relationship or family relationship someone tried to maybe put the blame on something on you and um, there might be like this frying pan set up uh, in the house maybe they're going to actually point fingers at each other in the environment but i feel like here you have like a clean exit you don't have to go into that drama you can just pass through it there's a legal paper also here this legal paper is bright for you it is actually containing a lot of peace and uh, i feel like success energy for you so you're going to maybe receive some very successful result out of an application or a desire it can be inheritance resolvement uh, you're getting your part and that can cause some disturbance in the other part of uh, like the people in the family um i feel like that's not going to be affecting you but there's going to be the frying pan set up the fire is going to be burning another energy of the fire is aries leo sagittarius this can be an aries leo sagittarius in your life very fiery attitude too much passion they might be coming forward with something that they couldn't resolve within themselves and it's good to have an idea that this is a possibility this can happen and you don't have to uh, flow with it you don't have to agree with it but if it happens you now know what to do okay uh, you'll be prepared you'll be aware in the beginning of the week i see here there's a pathway opening here for you this can be also maybe if you're leaving some people behind you're moving to somewhere else there are two options here maybe you're going to choose either one i see chunk of money at the end of it this can be like a work relocation type of a thing the people that you're leaving behind can be maybe um coming up with this fiery attitude maybe they don't really want to lose you however uh they might have this like a very harsh attitude okay so i feel like the journey with these people already like um you know already what to do what not to do or maybe which part of your life that you shouldn't be sharing with others that's going to be the wisdom of the elephant coming to you 
And also, I feel like here, uh, instead of choosing others, choosing you is the key, okay? Um, that's also came forth, I feel like, mm, yes, put the hat of authority on your own head, not on the others. Do not give others to make decisions about your life. That's your collective message coming forth. Okay, your role is going to be changing. Um, you're going to be carrying the one actually having the authority more words to say. And so that time of getting orders from others is over. So that can also create some jealousy. Okay, but it doesn't mean that that's going to be a permanent thing that jealousy that negative um, thing. I feel like that's going to be like um immediate reaction. That's going to pass really soon. And now you're going to have rainbows and also like a relax and enjoyment, joyful celebration in your life. In the beginning of the week, I see here there's um a weird animal showing up. I feel like the face looks like a duck, but the body looks like um maybe um I wouldn't say like a mermaid, but the old drawings of mermaid. Okay, there is this um creature called Shahmaran. The head is a woman and the body looks like a fish, uh, but it is actually uh, drawn in a miniature style, not in like a modern style or like um, in um, Renaissance style or such. It is like a drawn in a miniature style. Okay, it's not very realistic. I That kind of reminds me of that, but the head looks like a duck. Duck usually symbolizes someone motherly, someone loving, supportive, appreciative. And this can be a queen of cups in your life, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, because it has the fish, uh, the water energy. But the thing is that uh, is believed that mermaids tend to have some vicious qualities to themselves as well. So this person can be someone very loving, supportive, and maybe fully behind you. But at the same time, they might have a tendency to, if they don't get their way, uh, become a little bit, um, you know, angry. It doesn't mean that this is going to affect you. I feel like you're going to face this thing up front in the beginning of the week and uh, they might try to create this volcano, but I feel like you're actually standing much higher position. Another thing I feel like here, if you're working in a place, you can maybe have compet compet competition without knowing that you have a competition there, okay? That person can actually like bring about the per competition when you get the raise because I see that you are standing on the three uh, rocks rising up to the higher. You might get that kind of like a promotion, recognition, success. And I even see someone with a sword like uh, granting knightship, maybe even upgrading you into a level that you're going to have your own authority. You're going to have your own word, maybe people working under you or this can be if you are like and of the situation you're retiring maybe getting that what you deserve on a higher level this can get some people jealous um so being aware of is important here i feel like this is not going to be affecting your situation or your future but it can be affecting your mood at the moment if this person actually bothers you but the legal paper is right and it is actually illuminating this drama whatever is happening I see even gossip flying around here, but there's a heart shape too. So overall, you're being loved. You're being appreciated. And there's a turtle right there as well. And you're moving on to a place that is going to be for your, uh, for, in your life for the long term. Turtles, usually because they carry their homes on their back, indicates establishing yourself to a place that you will feel at home. This can be buying a new house, preparing uh, to buy a new house, maybe talking to the real estate broker, going visiting your homes, find your, finding your own place. Uh, this can be packing up to move on to somewhere that will appreciate you, uh, that will actually recognize your hard work, your qualities. And um, with this turtle, I feel like the energy is going in that direction, okay? And I see here... The sword with the information someone is coming forward can be a king of swords um, who has maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius on their chart uh, is going to offer you something that will be very logical to accept. And afterwards, I see here the turtle maybe can come with a new living space for you. Then you're moving on to this gossip and passing through it to this paperwork, which will be final approval. When it comes forward, I see here someone who has like a pointy chin, can be Capricorn, but another thing I see on top of his head, 
that big hat that he's wearing kind of reminds me of that a big head on top of uh, Rumi. If you know, if you guys know Rumi, um, he was actually a poet and uh, mostly about love and fire, the fire of love. But he was um, interpreting that is interpreted in the sense of the love of the creation, the creator that he was burning in the fire of uh, the creation. And also there is a um, from one of my Sufi friends, I learned that um, we are experiencing humanly love in order to experience the true love towards the creator, because that's the part of the creation as well. So uh, it seems like here you are going through some things, you're learning things, you're getting the victory paper, legal approval, crescent one is a success that you're going to achieve, governmental success, maybe a legal issue that you have been dealing with and being resolved. And at the end of the day, even though there's a fiery person behind uh, maybe getting jealous and being loud, they're not going to be able to stop your progress, but you're going to see a way that, okay, they're going through their own journey. That's going to be your understanding. That's where love comes in. The love uh, of humanity, like you are upgrading from burning level to actually relaxing level, and you're going to be able to see that people are still on that like burning and cooking that's how the Rumi explains love it's just it burns us and so from clay pot we, like uh from clay to we turn into the pots that usable objects and um not as like human beings are objects but we become uh what we are supposed to become okay uh not the mud but a cup that is um actually in service so i feel like here you're going to understand that uh, people are going through their own thing too and when you accomplish your success another thing i see here there's a tent a roof this can be a new home opportunity like it keeps showing up i need to point it out and i have a dolphin here dolphin indicates uh, someone joyful someone playful someone excited and i feel like overall under all of these things there's another person here can be again a water sign can be a pisces or someone i see here there's number two maybe even three actually three indicates creativity number two is partnership maybe someone who really wants to partner up with you at the end maybe on the bottom uh level they really want to partner up with you but i sense a different energy from this person this can be someone uh, maybe you're going to meet through this person that's why maybe jealousy is coming forth as well there are some people out there they introduce you to some a new person and they come forth and say you know what you stole my friend like uh, people are not they can, you can they're not materials you cannot steal a person so like there's free will involved there so i feel like that can be like the push and pull that you're going to experience there as well but it's not going to be hurtful it's just going to be a learning experience for you it is going to be an upgrading experience for you and towards the end of the week i see here that um actually there's a celebration even coming forth for you okay Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be for that one. I see the full energy circle is intact. Your desire is coming forward really fast. Initial stage. I feel like this is going to be on that. You're going to complete in stages. I see someone actually sitting, sitting on the throne. They have an anvil in front of them. That doesn't really align with like the anvil is the blacksmith's tool. And the throne is the king's actually uh, seat that they sit, king and the queen's. I see a letter T can be in someone's first name or the last name. Blacksmith is, I feel like you are actually learning a skill that will be very useful for you. But it is not going to actually take you off of your throne, take you off of your comfort zone. You're going to experience the full comfort as well as learning this new skill which will improve your success in the future. I see crescent moon and the star. Star means wish fulfillment. And it can be something very small that you're actually going to figure out even. And that will be another uh, successful victory for you. It is going to bring another successful victory for you. But this can be, I know this is for the next seven days. But can be something a little further than the next seven days you're going to experience. Okay. All right, my beautifuls. That's all for today. I hope you enjoy your reading. I'm going to continue for each sign from this moment on and if you're gonna watch those ones go ahead and check the comment box below and in the description box as well and if that's all for you today i appreciate you being here thank you so much for watching i wish you all a magical day bye
Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your weekly energy checkup. Let's see what's coming your way, what you need to know. If there's a certain situation in your mind, it's good to focus on that one so we can get specific answers for those, okay? I have your spirit animal. We have your uh, final messages and also message from your ancestors and angels. We have a world coming forward if you have a current a thing that you're handling, trying, making happen. This indicates that this is the end of your journey. It is a completion. It's coming to an end. You're going to actually achieve the success that you want. You don't have to worry anymore if your minds are worried or if you are actually in the mood of taking massive action. Let me turn this into Aries as well. It is time to relax now. It's okay. You can relax now because now from this moment on, the things are going to be evolving into 10 of pentacles. Oh my goodness. 10 of pentacles is financial security, long-term um, family structure. This is going to be a resource, financial resource that will um, maybe even give you that relaxation, that comfort. You don't have to uh, spend your time on thinking about the future you're going to have a chance to do what you enjoy doing we have king of cups here this is an external factor i feel like the ev evolution will come through with the help of some people cancer pisces scorpio energy this can be someone loving supportive a father figure protective and helpful and this person is coming up with an offer in their hand and their offer can be even looking like the smallest thing tiniest thing but can have the capacity to become something massive in the future so do not ignore the help coming okay because aries tend to be a uh, very uh, independent leadership characteristics that you carry and that can cause you to feel like when the help comes no i can do it by myself um gene comes forth okay if that's the case this time around take it mildly maybe even see what this person can do for you then maybe there is actually a um, life lesson that you're learning out of the situation as well we have four cups here yeah when you accept the help you might get a little bit like okay now i'm not doing the things and the on the bottom we have ace of swords maybe you're gonna feel like okay i'm losing my power because i'm giving um uh, getting help but it seems like your ace of swords is actually good communication it's a good approval it is the sword of like the three of cups came forth here it's a celebration a sword of communication so you're going to achieve success even though you let help to come to you the success will be yours okay the victory will be yours you're going to have the word to um manage things you're going to be victorious this is actually um this character can be even loving supportive um high institution that are going to get help because like a patriarchal institution it doesn't have to be specifically even a human human being the world comes with the king of pentacles this is all about financial success and opportunity king of pentacles can be taurus Virgo, capricorn someone with a lot of authority strength and power showing up maybe you're going to be receiving some help extra help from this person but i feel like the energy is you are on the path to becoming the king or queen of pentacles we have queen of swords with the ten of pentacles energy the good communication the things are going to be opening up you need to communicate your desires and needs and you need to be logical and diplomatic when it comes to that uh, like i said maybe you are uh, feeling like you're losing the control here but the things are already under control you don't need to worry about that with the king of cups came forth the strength so this can be you taming something within you as well like i said the external factors are going to be help is on the way but the internal factors also maybe you taming yourself your ideas your thoughts if you have pessimistic mindset it keeps going down there you need to keep lifting it up okay you need to stay in the positive and if you do you're going to be winning at all costs five of a source energy is like winning the war eventually and the sun indicates that it is going to bring a lot of optimistic results it's not going to be only like a um raw victory it is going to have a lot of relaxation enjoyment and even um like uh good opportunities in it let's see what your um angels and ancestors want you to know for the week then we're going to move on to your spirit animal 
I have here the Heart Guardian, love and let yourself be loved, basically. And the King of Cups can also be someone coming to love you. It doesn't have to be um, male or female. It is like the think of it, the masculine energy. Somebody's going to be approaching you. We also have the feminine energy as well. So the approach will be something very successful and help you feel that creator's love, basically. Like uh, I said in the coffee cup through uh, the human love, like the romantic love. Let's see which animal will be assisting you. We have the penguin. Penguins that uh, they made for life. This is actually maybe even if this is a job opportunity that you're walking into, financial security that you're walking into, seems like it is going to last very long. Ten of Pentacles also indicates that. Diamond light activation. Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. I love this reading. Let's see your final uh, message of guidance that what you need to know at this moment okay we have a beautiful purple color and actually today i was listening that purple was one of the strongest and most highest energy and vibrational color that you can incorporate that into your life we have a green witch connect to the spirits and energy of your local landscape seek enchantment so you can connect with, um, maybe go to a park. We have the crescent moon and the star here. And watch the stars. Connect with the energy of that in order to increase your attraction power. Okay? All right, my beautifuls. That's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your general reading for the week. We're going to be jumping into your tarot. Then we're going to move on to your advice from ancestors, spirit animal, as well as the message of guidance. Let's see what's happening. We have the world coming through. The same card came with the Aries. I feel like the fire is completing a cycle now. You are completing a cycle as well. If you have Aries in your chart, go ahead and check that reading as too. We have... The world indicates that you completed the fool's journey. If you have been through things, it is coming to an end now. We have Knight of Swords here. The so things are evolving in a way that if you don't really have a word to say in what's happening in your life, you're going to get that opportunity. You're going to be able to speak your truth and maybe even gain some sort of like a massive authority. You see how big the sword is? The roses are surrounding him. Something that you would love to do. You're going to become um the leader of a maybe a bunch like you, the, there's going to be recognition of your hard work the internal factors are that you have to let some things that doesn't serve you go okay you didn't have to let them go because they're not really belonging in your new future that establishment that creation that you actually participated in doesn't belong to your new future you have to move away from it you have to step away from it we have nine of swords here this is the final outcome when we have the justice under it i want to see the shadow side it seems like here you're going to uh, achieve success no matter what you're going to achieve success but this can go both ways i feel like with if you don't let go of these fears and that you are maybe fearful of the things are not going to work out or maybe you're afraid of people this can be a person that you're dealing with in your life at this moment this can be a relationship that you're actually finalizing and if you don't actually say okay i'm not afraid of the situation anymore this is a self-fulfilling prophecy it starts to become i'm letting this go as soon as you say that the justice will be served the karma is going to be completed and i feel like there's self-forgiveness is also due here and uh, it is going to work out on your behalf well, no matter what happens we have libra gemini Aquarius energy with the justice we have libra again you have a lot of like intellectual energy here i feel like you're mentalizing things a lot you're thinking about analyzing about what has happened in the past and maybe thinking that it is re irreversible but justice is telling you no it is irreversible and all you need to do is just allow it allow it to evolve into something beautiful and uh, eventually the success is showing but i feel like nine of swords is a warning that if you have a negative thinking pattern or you feel have a Debbie Downer surrounding you, you have to cut it off. You let, have to let it go. We have a tower moment with the world. Tower moment is actually a structure that doesn't work 
crumbling down, coming to an end. This can be a sudden disruption in the energy. Um, but what's going to happen is it is going to end a situation I feel like that is concerning you, making you fearful, or maybe even disrupting your energy flow. It's coming to an end. That's going to be the end of the cycle. And that now you have a new journey to start. Knight of Swords which comes with the Empress. The involvement is going to be your creative energy is going to be important. Can be, again, we have a lot of Libra energy here. Logic and Taurus with uh, grounding that logic. Maybe discussing with the people who are knowledgeable about the subject in your hand is very important. Coming up with the creative ideas and executing them. Planting your seeds very carefully also. Another thing here, like do not plant the seeds of fear. Plant the seeds of efficiency. The so things are going to grow and multiply. This death, yes, the explanation is nine of cups. This is something that you want to happen. This is your wish fulfillment. Whatever it is that has been prolonged for a long time, that doesn't serve you anymore. This can be a relationship. This can be a work environment that you're stuck in. You're going to move out of there. You're going to move on away from there. That's coming to an end. Whatever is your wish fulfillment, that is going to be actually coming forth. We have two of pentacles energy with the nine of swords here. I feel like you are trying to do many things at the same time. That's why it is weighing on your shoulders too much. Okay. Justice is no matter which way you do, you're going to be eventually achieving success. That's the shadow part. And there's going to be a celebration, but we have a family environment here. Family doesn't have to be bloodlines. This can be chosen families. There are people can help you ask for help, reach out and ask. Okay. And when you ask, I feel like it is going to be, the things are going to be evolving much faster. Victory will come much more faster as well. Okay. Let's see your advice from the ancestors and angels, what you need to do, what you need to know, or maybe what you need to let go, who you need to become. Let's see. We have the knight. You have two knights again. And this knight is holding the sword. Be brave and honest is very important. I feel like that's another thing here with the knight of swords energy. Your honesty is going to be valued, appreciated, and maybe even bring the success that you desire to you. Okay? Let's see which spirit animal will be assisting you along the way. This can be throughout the week. If you see this animals, maybe on TV even, uh, know that they are there to help you out. We have an antelope. New pathways. Consider whether you're happy on your current path. And like I told you here, we are rewriting the story. You are rewriting your story again and starting anew. And there's a new pathway also opening in front of you. We saw in the coffee cup, if you watch to the end, there was actually a double pathway opening for you. And it seems like here, this is your confirmation. Let's see your message of guidance, what you need to do, who, maybe what you need to know. Uh, this can be also like a practical advice of like taking um, some action. We have the gnome of mushrooms and buttons. Seek silliness and joy their wise teachers. Okay, so being a little bit enjoying uh, childish activities, maybe going into the park, going into the woods, and if you are by the beach making sand castles, that can be something will helpful, maybe help you release that stress that you're carrying on, okay? All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading. Today, we're going to be looking into your general tarot. Then we're going to move on to your advice from ancestors and spirit animal, as well as message of guidance. Let's jump in. If you have a specific subject that you're concerned about, just focus on that one. Let's see what we have. Six of Pentacles energy looking beautiful here. Seems like the help is on the way. Six of Pentacles is all about giving and receiving. So at this moment, you are in need of receiving help. And that will come forward. The help is going to be there for you. We have the death card. This is actually indicative of the things are going to evolve in a way that you're going to be able to, maybe there's something that you're attached to, you're having a hard time to let go. This can be a person, we have Scorpio energy, and this is going to come to an end. It can end up um, maybe crumbling up by itself, uh, sudden maybe letting go. 
this can even be like you finding the help that you need and letting go of someone that doesn't serve you or maybe a situation that doesn't serve you immediately okay making that decision i feel like here this is about free will choice that you're going to be able to make the decision when you feel secure where you are okay we have two of cups energy this is i feel like external factors as well two of cups can be an offer can be something coming into your life. Can, like I said, this can be a relationship too. A new love, a new job opportunity, a new living quarter. Uh, some new uh, thing will appear in your life. Will give you the chance to make a choice. Okay? And looking very beautiful so far. Even though that sounds like a negative thing. I feel like this is the ending of something that doesn't serve you. That's something that is not really... Maybe uh, you are having a hard time to say you no. Know. It is going to just... Uh, cut itself out of your life because your life is going to upgrade to a higher level okay we have nine of wands energy we have a very handsome actually uh gentleman here um nine of wands indicates that um having your boundaries up wounded warrior energy you have been there you actually um done whatever has to be done now you have your walls are up uh, because you're feeling you might get hurt in the future which is reasonable understandable but i feel like this new opportunity coming like i'm thinking it this way maybe you're going to start in a new workplace and you're going to have your boundaries you're not going to be accepting every project that is put in, in front of you because in the past you said yes to all the things that you didn't want to do and now then they became your responsibility without pay and i feel like here this new thing coming is going to be perfect fit for you and you're going to have your boundaries up you're going to have strong boundaries i'm not saying like you're going to have walls around you i feel like you're going to now make decisions and responses is going to be from the heart where your heart desires and on the bottom i see here king of wands your attitude will even and the lovers under it bring um, amazing success to you okay this can be even someone that you're working with has a high authority respecting your decisions respecting how you um, do things manage things this can be money situation actually like working out maybe getting uh, that financial security that you want and protecting it maybe in the past you weren't really mindful of that but now this time around you're going to be very mindful and lovers actually states that this can be even health about like a healing emotional healing physical healing will happen when you're aware when you make your decisions from the heart and say give your answers from the heart like um saying no when you want to say no instead of saying yes okay six of pentacles is not comes with the nine of pentacles the help is on the way you're going to receive massive blessings and that will give you the chance to enjoy financial security and success we have with the death what's ending is the competition maybe you were in an environment that you have to battle with people all the time like i said this doesn't have to be a job environment this can be an environment a family situation maybe a mother-in-law who, uh, who's intervening uh, in your home in your business all the time this is actually coming to an end i feel like this person is going to step back or the situation is going to ease down and you're going to find true love whatever is in your heart in your desire is going to be coming forward and i have here a word to say the feeling is that queen of swords is your authority your power, you having the word to say, and you're being accepted, loved, appreciated wherever that you step in. King of Cups energy here, nine with the nine of wands. I feel like you're gonna lovers on the bottom again. This is like a double confirmation here. Okay, I'm trying to cover these guys, the lovers again. So the offer coming in is going to be something that you cannot reject it is going to be something extremely satisfying and a loving energy right there the feather says yes the angels are watching over you and uh, lovers again energy is this is like a perfect situation for you it is going to be a perfect fit if this is a relationship this can even be someone that you fit perfectly lovers is um gemini also king of wands is aries the sagittarius it can be a fire like you are or maybe like gemini uh coming into your life if this is love that you're wanting um which fits with your um desires perfectly let's see what's your advice from ancestors we have magic guardian unlock the magic within so i feel like this is not about um, unlocking the magic within just starting to do like rituals and such it is about 
finding out your heart's desire what's your true desire what's the true intention behind the things that you do okay and when you actually focus on the intention rather than the action the things manifest much faster so uh, there's a magic within you that's your true intentions and focusing on that will bring the success faster let's see which spirit animal will be uh, helping you around we have the wolf wolf actually indicates the wolf pack and kids family i feel like you're going to be finding your soul family here to, from the competition rising up to an environment that you're going to be loved appreciated you're going to be the number one maybe even we have the wolf with the heart medicine let go of that which does not serve your highest good and i feel like when you find yourself in that space that you feel loved appreciated you're going to let go of the things that doesn't serve you even faster what's your message of guidance this can be like a little advice from the, the little elementals the force fay the soothsayer says travel the road seldom taken so this can be in the literal sense maybe you have been traveling through uh, the same path every single day to get to work this is suggesting maybe change that path a little bit also, this can be like doing things in a different way. Maybe you are actually keep doing the same things over and over again and ex expecting different results. This is basically suggesting that change the way you do things and then your results will be changing too, okay? All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week. We're going to be looking into your general tarot. Then we're going to move on to your advice from ancestors, spirit animal for the week and message of guidance. I have here eight of wands falling out of the deck for you. This indicates whatever you have in your mind as a desire. Seems like that's going to be actually coming forward really fast. Eight of wands is the fast energy, many positive opportunities coming your way let's see what is the situation the subject in your mind or in your life currently focus on that let's see what's happening nine of cups indicates somebody's coming for the massive offer you see how big this cup is this can be a cancer pisces scorpio a new love coming ahead or if you have a certain situation in your hand uh, in your life that is developing in a very loving way in a very gentle way Page of Swords indicates that you have to speak your truth. This can be someone coming ahead, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, very verbal. They speak the truth. Uh, they're open, authentic, and also maybe encouraging you to be more authentic and um, create this communication line. Can be about love. I'm going to go ahead and interpret this two different ways. The offer can be a job offer that requires you to be who you are, which actually supports uh, your existence. And the light is actually shining here, a little like blinking. I don't see it on like literal with my eyes, but on the screen is blinking. I feel like it's a good sign for you. So that offer will be something uh, true to your spirit, something that you will really enjoy. The factors are Five of Swords energy. Hmm. There might be an action, something that you have to do in order to actually achieve success. Um, this can be doing as much as you can. Uh, Five of Swords energy actually um, going to war and doing everything it takes in order to win the war. Um, this can sound a little negative certain times because um, it requires you to put all your attention, energy, negative, positive, all into this work. But also I feel like this is the energy of actually evolving from one position to another, from expecting things to happen to actually getting things that in your hand, taking the control and making things happen. And this can even be you receiving five different swords, the five different external factors that will have a positive effect on the current situation. The fool is a very good sign. This is a symbol of new beginning, good energy. Again, a Libra energy here. Uh, this can be someone that is actually comp accompanying you. And the fool card, we usually have um, a dog on the side of the fool. So you're setting into and stepping into a new adventure. This is the ground zero, new beginning. The thing is, the fool is not someone inexperienced. The fool also has the energy of he has been through the fool's uh, 
journey he has some knowledge experience he has something to offer now and this indicates that everything that you gain along the way is going to be very useful in your next endeavor in your adventure okay do not uh put like push away the things that you have gained you have picked up along the way knight of cups come forward with the king of wands this can be a fire energy as well i feel like the new adventure opportunity will be coming your way very soon in your situation you might even have something that you're thinking about maybe a new adventure a new um entrepreneur um entrepreneurship something that will launch new things in your life you might be a little bit hesitant with the cups energy the water energy however i feel like this is going to be moving on very uh quickly in a very fast fashion page of swords comes with the queen of swords so this is in feminine and masculine so like whatever that you're thinking about you can bring this about it is going to come forward the things the intellectuality is very important here this means that writing down your thoughts and desires and putting them into words speaking them is very important as well the thing is also the queen of swords uh, the page of swords indicate maybe a person who has access to uh information that you need they're going to be coming forth and they're going to be providing you the help you have many many swords energies here libra gemini aquarius this is very intellectual resolution coming forward like i said you are maybe actually trying to do resolve things by fighting but the thing is the knight of swords is coming forward uh bringing you the solution that you need and the horse is galloping here so this is fast coming solutions right there ten of swords is end of the story what do we have under it page of wands so whatever your point of being right now wherever that you're heading like i said you're completing the a uh, cycle here ten of swords is like the end of the journey you see he's making a peace sign so you're maybe ending certain things in a very dramatic way this can be moving out of your current place finding a new job and just leaving where you are in a very dramatic way maybe that's what actually pushed you to start anew but page of wands energy is the new beginner's mind there's going to be something much better in the horizon for you so if you're feeling sad or sorry about how things evolved and came to this point do not anymore because this is actually what is meant to be let's see what's the advice coming from your ancestors then we're going to move on to your spirit animal we have the shaman trust in higher forces so like i said even though the things are looking like a sad um ending in a sad way or tragic way tragic doesn't mean something uh like um painful tragic can be maybe somebody with a drama queen causing a scene or somebody is actually um ending things you don't really have as a taurus as far as i know taurus is the calmest gentlest and most understanding sign but someone might be actually ending things in a way uh that you're not going to prefer to be a part of but either way it's going to be working out for you and the shaman states here as your ancestor um there's there are higher forces actually at play something that you truly desire is coming into your life and this is how the things are going to evolve okay maybe a sudden disruption but the things are going to be working out you know, the best way possible we have the sloth coming forward for the week this is your spirit animal enjoy relaxation digital detox is important recalibrate reset and recharge and if you are spending most of your time in front of the screen staying away from it a little bit can be useful or also whatever that you're turning on being intentional about it is important okay intentional like uh, why are you watching this video now what is the intention behind it what are you watching a, um, a drama a tv series what is the intention behind it what are you trying to get out of it it can be just having fun as well but um, just not for the sake of scrolling okay that's basically the sloth actually brings to you let's see your final message of guidance let's see what that's going to be saying we have the hedge guardians walk with our shins and seek the land under the hill hmm. with the fool's energy here i feel like there is some place or some things that you need to be in search of if you're not really searching these right now throughout the week while you're maybe meditating detoxing the information will come through 
when the information comes through, it's good to just put it in the Google or maybe just call up some people to research that uh, with their shins, walk with their shins and seek the land under the hill, okay? All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your reading for the week. Let's see what's coming your way. We're going to start out with your general tarot. Then we're going to move on to your advice from ancestors, spirit animal for the week, as well as message of guidance. If you have a specific subject in your life that you want to answer for, like waiting for, expecting answers to come forth, it's good to focus on that so you can get clear messages. We have Page of Cups, a beautiful, emotionally fulfilling offer coming. We have a massive fish here, a goldfish, which is symbol of prosperity, wealth, abundance. On the bottom, I see the sun here. It caught my eye, so I'm going to pull that out as well. This is going to be a very optimistic um event or thing happening to you or an offer coming to you maybe um around the week i feel like here this can actually be because this, this is actually middle of the week can be uh coming like the next seven days maybe the fifth day of the week or so uh, i have here the star the things are going to evolve in a way i feel like that is however you want it because star indicates wish fulfillment desires coming to life so whatever you expect the universe will deliver the outside factors ten of swords energy here actually ten of swords energy came forth in as an outcome in the taurus so if you have taurus in your chart go ahead and watch that one as well the internal and external factors are you are ending a cycle now this is the end of a story okay and that's why it is going to work even better than ever because this is some tra maybe tra tragedy or something tragic that is weighing you down this can be something that happened in the past that you're carrying with yourself with you all the time and it seems like this is the end of that story it is going to be released when you achieve the success this can be something like this for example if you're working somewhere and you want recognition you want success you want promotion you're not getting it somebody else is getting it all the time and you feel this kind of like um maybe even stress uh pain because you're not getting the worth and value what happens is there's a beautiful offer coming in we have the goldfish this person wearing the gold gown indicates that this is going to be something uh, financially satisfying and the way you want it to be it is going to evolve evolve and then you're going to let go of what doesn't serve you anymore that resentment that you have been carrying for a while two of pentacles indicate i have the six of pentacles on the bottom ask help when it's necessary because you might have to when you step into this new thing i see actually like the magician on the bottom as well um you're going to maybe working a little harder than you're supposed to in this new environment in this new endeavor six of pentacles actually giving and receiving simultaneously receiving amazing help so you can get come across with amazing people that will help you out but the magician indicates that you have to ask for the help because the magician energy is um actually asking for the help okay not waiting for it to show up or expecting things to come to you it's about like a, a closed mouth doesn't get fed there's such a, like a saying like that so you need to open up uh, and request and demand it okay and demanding it from the universe prayer meditation in your mind visualization can be if this is a human being that you're dealing with face to face in a very tactful way you can speak your mind queen of cups already approves the message coming ahead and i feel like here this is going to be coming very gently into your life it's not going to be like a sudden disruption like a tower moment something is crumbling new thing is coming no it's going to be maybe like a little email in your uh like mailbox that will say okay uh we have this kind of if you are like a part of like a recruiting company and such these shoot emails like that time to time we have a position available this state in this state maybe you're interested maybe you should just get in touch and connect with us you know that can be gently coming into your life we have the strength with the star this will actually give you a lot of um you know power strength meaning I feel like authority figure as well. You're taming the lion here. Your experiences that you have gathered along the way. We have two Leo energy here will be extremely useful and you will be like becoming the authority. 
Three of Swords again improving the Ten of Swords. This is the end of the heartbreak. Whatever has happened in the past, this can be about relationship as well. It is in the past now. You're going to be leaving those external uh, factors behind. You're going to be pushing them away because there is a new day coming forward. The chariot, you see, he is actually galloping towards a new future, leaving the past behind. Okay, that's kind of improving how the things evolve as well here. Let's move on to your advice from ancestors if you have like an ancestor maybe you can think about that one uh like if you have connections with uh, certain like shamans knights or you know healers and such let's see what the energy coming forth we have the medicine mother honor your inner knowing so i feel like here yes you have some ancestor and uh i believe that our soul comes back to this human existence over and over again is even the pieces of it and this can be from the past lives or current lives that you're having maybe an ancestor calling you and you might have a healing power by the way another thing is the medicine mother is she has a healing power and honor your inner knowing she's basically suggesting that you're already given an inner guidance system okay your ing basically your ing ing is guiding you so listen to that one okay uh, th through prayer meditation works we have the l sight detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control also l indicates intuition inner knowing detach your emotions basically maybe you are feeling like okay i have dedicated so much time here or i have friends here i cannot leave this place that's your emotional attachment or maybe i spent so much time with this person but still your intuition is telling you okay this is not where you should be right now you should move on and detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control like if you cannot control people for example but you can control your own situation okay let's get to the message of guidance what you need to know this can be an advice usually like comes up as an advice to like how to proceed let's see we have the lady of the lost give to others treasure life and all its magic and we have here she's actually finding an animal got lost and being a guidance for them she has a tattoo on her foot here this can be actually indicative of traveling or maybe looking into new endeavors new areas also in her hand as well giving give to others indicating you're going to receive a blessing i feel like here and six of pentacles actually giving comes back energy you're going to receive help but then you need to pay it forward it doesn't have to be specifically giving back to who you get the help from but you can pay it forward and that will actually bring more magic into your life okay all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye hello my beautiful capricorn welcome to your weekly reading i hope you're having a great day today let's see what's coming your way it's good to have a specific subject to focus on and then after terror i'm going to move on to your advice from ancestors spirit animal as well as the message of guidance i have nine of pentacles here this is your current situation if you're not feeling the wealth and abundance and success in your life it seems like it is going to make itself known okay those blessings those guidance that wealth abundance that is going to make itself known you're going to start feeling that okay we have ten of swords energy the things are going to be evolving in a way first of all maybe you're going to have some sort of like a tragic or maybe a sudden interruption but that is not going to be the negative part of the story i feel like this is going to be something that you will appreciate this can be a situation maybe you're dealing with uh, taking a very long time and I feel like this is coming to an end it is going to finalize and it is going to be a victory at the end of the day for you however because this is maybe something that you had a long time in your life even though it had the negative effect for so far you might feel a little nostalgia because of that thing is actually far far away from you now okay that happens as a human condition I know it sounds a little ridiculous but what happens is sometimes when we spend so much time thinking about something that becomes a part of us and even though it doesn't really serve us when we're letting that go we have hard time but eight of ones is suggesting that that thing is going to be ending and there's going to be a new positive opportunity maybe even many of them popping here left and right okay 
final result we have the ace of swords this is a new idea new day and uh, maybe even a new person coming into your life a new communication line is opening up and can be a new beginning too i feel like this is about job opp opportunities because we have the pentacles energy money resource of money maybe you had a very good resource of money but that is interrupted now it's not flowing anymore and you're feeling that um maybe insecure about that's not going to be um continuing but eight of wands energy is telling me it is actually there's something much better is coming forward and ace of swords indicates this can be even a place that you will have a lot of authority you see the sword is actually wrapped around by feathers golden feathers the gold and opportunity like um, in a very positive way will be flowing into your life nine of pentacles is I feel like you. it is time for you. Maybe you were doubtful that you're not going to collect that seeds that you have planted. Nine of Pentacles suggesting that it is going to be collected. And Nine of Swords is like whatever that you're afraid of. It seems like with Ten of Swords is going to happen. Okay? But there is a choice here. There's a free will choice here. This is not something that happened already. You might have to maybe find with the hermit energy here why are you feeling that way focus on in a positive thing with a strength card here and change turning things around it doesn't have to be self-fulfilling prophecy if you keep thinking about the negativity how the things can end up in a negative way can end up in a, that way but i feel like either way um this is actually going to be for something to come forth in a better way evolved way or in an upgraded way we have four of pentacles here i feel like um because he's holding pentacles so tightly and this is a positive part of the reading the external factors internal factors you might receive some blessings financial support that you're going to be holding on to really tightly and it's okay to hold on to that because it can be something very useful in the future for you queen of wands with the ace of swords this indicates there's going to be a massive blessing coming ahead okay you're going to be basically uh getting up from one throne and sitting on another throne if you're feeling like okay uh, now i don't have what i had in the past it is like uh, maybe gradually uh, getting away from me i feel like this is happening because maybe you have something um like the first thing come to me this can be like an inheritance situation or a money that has been owned like by many people that you have a share somebody else has a share and that's why it is actually a big piece but it seems like it is uh being split up and that's why you're feeling um this like you're not going to have enough but i feel like with the partnership that they have you have with them you don't really have the control of the many things and with the four of wands energy here it's splitting up with the eight of so uh, eight of wands is actually i'm sorry eight of wands energy is uh indicating that it is going to become something very successful for you and you will have full control over the things that you desire to have in your hand okay and with that authority it seems like here you're going to be stepping into a new era that you're making your moves in silence with full confidence and achieving massive success okay so maybe here stepping away from the people the situations is going to be extremely useful for you let's see what your advice from your ancestors the ancestors can come through from this life or the past life let's see what's showing up for you we have the great teacher learn from spiritual experiences here we have a peaceful uh dove actually flying away i'm gonna pull your spirit animal as well but peace mostly coming ahead so i feel this is actually whatever is happening here is a learning experience that you will uh have and a great teacher i feel like he kind of looks like the depiction of the jesus christ but like there are many actually sayings i heard somewhere that he is actually like uh he had red hair and such i'm not sure of that so i'm not gonna name the names this can be someone also actually there's a person that i know he's like a master looks like this guy too so i'm not gonna uh, will classify or characterize this person but this is a great teacher okay the teacher can be uh someone a spiritual guidance that will receive that is within you already or this can be someone that you're following listening to uh that gives great advice maybe not directly to you but will be very useful for you as well okay and um you need to pick up the information from there the next step what you need to do we have squirrel coming ahead spiritual maintenance is 
very important be your own caretaker so do not let anybody else's advice or lifestyle or maybe disappointments to guide your your life and you need to make your own decisions here Another thing I feel with the squirrel energy is squirrel with the four of wands, like four of pentacles. I keep saying four of pent wands, but four of pentacles energy. Squirrels tend to hide things, okay? Th tend to hide things in their cheeks and they bury actually these acorns and they plant most of the acorn trees, by the way, because they forget where they, they hide it. So I feel this energy, you have to keep your uh, energy to yourself. If you are the advisor, advice giver of all the family and the friends, you have to just, no, you have to stop that. Your energy is required by you. You have to hold on to what you gain, your opportunity, maybe even good news when you get this offer um, or maybe um, winning something in the lottery, guess what? Don't share it with anybody. You have to first feed yourself, then you will have energy to give others as well, okay? let's see what's the message of guidance here this can be like a literal guidance or like a spiritual advice for the week let's see what that is showing up for us we have the owl song we don't have any other owl for you right here i'm just trying to see uh whisper secrets to the moonlight find strength in the stillness the owls are high intuition actually you can be guided in an intuitive way towards some things that you're desiring and this is also suggesting that whisper things secrets to the moonlight whatever that is on your chest weighing you down you can speak it to the moonlight also your desires as well i feel like there's a listening eye here for you someone maybe on the higher realm listening to you and will be helpful for you to receive those gifts okay all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye hello my beautiful cancers welcome to your weekly reading if you have a specific subject that you would like to focus on at this moment it's good to keep that up there on your mind i also have advice from ancestors spirit animal and the message of guidance we're going to be looking at those at the end let's see what's happening with okay this is a beautiful victory six of wands is victorious you're coming back home on the white horse red is the power of action whatever that you think through think thought about it is actually going to be uh, happening very fast in a very victorious way we have the ace of swords here the so things are going to evolve in a way i feel like you're going to have the might and power to speak and maybe you're going to be leading with confidence you're going to be in a position to um lead people mm, this can be also like um having like an upgrade maybe able to be yourself express yourself truly a great power coming queen of cups is your energy this is cancer pisces scorpio what's going to be useful here is when you obtain the power being gentle being mindful being understanding and approaching people if you are actually this is an upgrade a promotion that you're getting or a money that you're receiving actually attending to those that are in need of you or maybe your money if you're getting a big chunk of money with love and care is important and protecting what you're creating also is going to be carrying a lot of importance here we have the lovers card the outcome is whatever that is in your heart will come forth the lovers can be a true soulmate connection relationship that you're forming with someone you see these beautiful fairies are flying in love and this can also be health matters resolving getting that solution that you want when it comes to health matters this can be the choice that you're making the choices that you're going to make is going to be ending up bringing you into the best place that you can fathom or maybe you cannot even fathom how good it's going to get okay lover's energy is a very happy energy and alignment partnership a love appreciation all that good stuff with the six of wands we have an emperor here and this can be an aries energy i feel like your victory is going to be um caused by someone aries maybe someone leadership energy guiding you helping you out this can also be you taking the initiative and taking necessary action when the time comes okay ace of swords i feel like here you are breaking away breaking out of the restraints that you had maybe this is verbal restraints this may be uh, mental restraints or that you weren't allowed to certain act in a certain way think in a certain way speak in a certain way you're breaking out of that bonds you're going to be free to do whatever you want internal factors are with the queen of cups 
I said maybe ex uh, approaching things in a loving way is very important, but also leaving the past behavior patterns are important too. The death uh, here, death can symbolize um, like ending of a structure that doesn't work for you anymore. Because Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you are very loving, giving, understanding. Queen of Cups has that energy here, but Scorpio is telling you here, okay be selective when you are giving love because some people might come forward and try to violate your boundaries and maybe even lock you in a place that you don't want to be in so you have to be the one saying no we have five of pentacles energy here and eight of cups okay so the lovers i feel like whoever left you out in the cold there's going to be an, um, an energy of walking away from that, okay? And uh, whatever, whenever that you felt like maybe you couldn't express yourself truly, you were locked up in a place that you don't want to be. This can be, this doesn't have to be physical, but can also be physical or strange. Maybe you're working in a place that you don't want to be. Seems like you are walking away from that lovingly. And we have with the Ten of Pentacles into an environment. You're going to be loved, appreciated, and you're going to get that financial security, promotion, everything that you're desiring will be aligning with you here, okay? You don't have to worry about um, that you're not going to be appreciated anymore. I feel like this can be even like a new job opportunity coming ahead for you or a new environment that you will get financial support, okay? Let's see what's the advice from your ancestors can be from this life or past life we have direction guardian this can be also guardian as well choose your path okay uh, like i said with a lover's energy if you're having hard time to make a choice the choice will be given it is going to be made so clear for you you're going to be like assured of your choice maybe that's like you're in between at this moment seems like here the clear choice is going to make everything much more uh desirable much more uh, better for you direction guardian is like your direction in life will be made clear too we have a lion here on the bottom i'm seeing the lion as well in the case honor your soul and celebrate this journey so it seems like here this is actually something that will evolve you from this moment the five of pentacles moment to the ten of pentacles moment you have the sea turtle conservation make cautious choices again choosing your path while you're choosing that path being conscious and aware is important, okay? So, uh, like intention, clear intention, clear positive intention will always come to you. Your desires will always manifest if you have clear and conscious intention. Let's see what your message of guidance. This can be a, like a literal guidance, what you should be doing about. The North would fay, take time for hibernation and healing, okay? So... Um, I feel like to this is all about like meditation, prayer, giving yourself the time as well, walking away from the things that doesn't serve you, that will make your path clearer. And also when if you're needing physical, mental help, like time for yourself, it is okay to take take time off, take a couple hours off, or like um maybe give yourself that relaxation time, okay? So you can make um that conscious decisions as well as heal from what has been has happened in the past okay all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye hello my beautiful pisces welcome to your weekly reading let's see what's coming your way we're going to do your general tarot first and then I'm going to move on to your advice from ancestors, your spirit animal for the week and message of guidance. Let's jump in. It seems like we have a king of swords coming ahead. This is your current situation. This can be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, highly intellectual pe person, can be male, a masculine character and uh, older um, and seems like here you're pisces you like to have a spiritual connection but this person can have that kind of like a discord when it comes to that maybe you're not really understanding what this person wants or they're not really communicative of their feelings that can be something that is blocking your way at this moment or this can be your current situation maybe you're dealing with a um position at work that uh, requires too much of like uh, material thinking uh, compared to emotional connection we have page of wands here it seems like this is going to evolve in a very 
a productive way. Page of Wands can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone fiery, adventurous, uh, also logical as well, but they would like to things connect with the energy uh, mentally and spiritually also. They don't really want to keep it on like a logic level. We have Six of Cups. This person can be someone from your past. And also, maybe this is something that you're desiring. This is an maybe intellectual challenge that you're taking on that you want to pursue and create a business idea or a goal that you have for long term. And Six of Cups indicates this can be your lifetime goal, maybe your childhood goal or something related to children. Maybe it's about like having a relationship and uh, having children in the future. It can indicate that as well. Let's see how the things will evolve. Ten of Swords, people are keep getting this Ten of Swords left and right. It seems like what doesn't serve you is going to be left behind. With the chariot, I feel like here there's... um. Like the shadow side is a fear I see on the bottom. So whatever that you're fearful of is going to be ending, coming to an end. The chariot is going to carry whatever is actually truly meant for you. It is going to bring something that is going to really fulfilling. I feel like you only see one pathway when it comes to this endeavor to resolve this issue. Ten of Swords is telling you, no, this is not going to be the way. And this is maybe something that you're feeling like, okay, there's no hope left. I cannot make this happen anymore. This is the end of the story. The chariot is actually going to be coming forward from the background. Two horses galloping towards you, even though we have one horse right here. So horses means wish fulfillment. Your wishes and desires is going to evolve and come forth from an unexpected source. King of Swords is Knight of Swords. There's a communication line opening, the solution coming fast. Page of Wands can be someone balanced or they're doing a balancing act right now with the Two of Pentacles energy. Or this can be your overall uh, adventurous ideas that you're going to find a happy medium in between. You're not going to be all like letting go all the responsibility. I feel like you're going to have a very happy medium in between here. Six of Cups is about that past heartbreak. You're healing from it. You're letting it go, leaving it in the past. Three of Pentacles indicates that you. Uh, we have another chariot on the bottom too. Uh, Three of Cups, I'm sorry, indicates that there's going to be actually a celebration coming ahead. Whatever is ending, coming to an end, will make you really happy. Even though you might have this kind of nostalgic sadness because this was something that you had maybe for a long time in your life. But it will bring something much better. So I feel like you're not going to be... Yes, exactly. You're not going to be festering in the idea of that thing actually left. We have the Hierophant here. If this is a relationship, Hierophant can mean a Taurus or can also indicate marriage. Something more stable, something for the structural, uh, long-term. It has a long-term stability, respectable, coming into your life, okay? Whatever is leaving is this thing that doesn't serve you. So you can actually be happy about it because something that serves you, lifts you up, make, puts you in a better condition. In a situation, maybe even the mood is coming ahead. Okay, let's see which ancestor will be uh, gate guiding you here. We have the air guardian, shift your perception. Like I said, with a ten of swords, you are actually looking at in a certain direction, certain pathway, and you're expecting things to come forward from that pathway. Air guardian can be also a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. We have here extremely logical personality. But there's a knight of swords, the second character coming forward. Maybe there is someone that you trust their intuition guidance so much or their logical ideas and expressions. But it seems like here there's another one, maybe even a younger energy. Knight of swords can be a younger energy who has the better knowledge, better experience, better information that will carry you to without skipping by skipping these steps that you don't have to suffer you can actually go straight to the end go straight to the success okay let's see which spirit animal will be guiding you this week we have a little dog here divine service how can you serve yourself better so you have to put yourself first okay throughout the week another thing is dog can be um Beautiful companion is someone who's loyal to you, who wants to be with you, wants to spend time with you. So choose your friends throughout the week and people, can be even colleagues around you, surrounding you. The ones that they want to spend time with you, the ones that they want to spend energy with you or give you energy, okay? Not the ones that are actually not being loyal, not giving you the energy that you deserve. Let's see what's your final message of guidance. This can be an action step as well. Let's see what we have. 
the spirit familiar seek loving connections and cherish friendships this is i feel like with the dog energy aligning the hierophant indicates loyalty spiritual guidance spiritual connection so shift your perception from uh maybe there are people that want you you're thinking about okay that that person doesn't like me uh, maybe you're not really aligned on the soul level there they don't really have you don't have soul contracts that's why maybe you should just move on from that person and find the people who actually be there for you and uh, maybe even you have contracts on the soul level that you can improve each other's lives it is going they're going to be showing up but you need to change your gaze and see where they are okay these people all right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your weekly reading. We're going to be looking into your general energies. If you have a specific subject in your life, it's good to focus on that so you can get specific answers. We're also going to be moving on after this one. Your advice from ancestors, spirit animal, also message of guidance. Let's jump in. I have three of cups here. If you're not celebrating this moment, the celebrations are ahead. You're going to be receiving some very good news that you will enjoy celebrating with your family and the loved ones. How do things will evolve? It seems like here you're getting an upgrade wherever that you are in your position from queen to king to empress to king. That's the empress to emperor. You're going to be upgrading definitely. Empress energy in the case maybe you're going to your creativity is going to bring these things to you or this is like a um, creative steps that you're going to be taking into the direction, the course that you want. The creative steps doesn't have to be artistic. It's two different things. OK, um, the creative ideas that you're going to put and start executing the seeds that you're planting are going to grow and bring you the ten of pentacles oh my god it seems like here you're really manifesting a lot of enjoyment and wealth throughout this week so the ten of pentacles energy can be your receiving um, abundance maybe a guidance towards generational wealth or your investments basically paying off King of Wands is the final outcome. This is um, the masculine energy. It can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius showing into your life. Very confident, powerful, adventurous. Maybe a little bit blunt, but this person has like a very uh, big charisma here. This can be someone that eventually you will be meeting. Uh, masculine and the feminine coming together. Or this can be your energy. You're becoming, obtaining a lot of strength, a lot of um, initiative, maybe um, like finding a new position that will give you a lot of power as well let's see get the clarification this three of cups boy what are you celebrating you're celebrating your wish fulfillment that's the star energy is your desires coming to life flowing into your life easily and you will be celebrating that this week we have with the empress the king of swords energy empress is libra and taurus king of swords can be libra gemini aquarius so it seems like here you're going to express your creative ideas in a very logical way and they will be accepted. They're going to be sounding in a very good way. This can be even like you have a business idea. You're looking for investors, for example. Your expression is going to be extremely important here. The way you speak your words, the, the way you actually uh, express your ideas. That will, with the butterflies on his throne, actually states that it is going to bring your uh, revolution and your metamorphosis. You're going to be changing uh, from one state to another in a very good position. Ten of Pentacles will build. That's actually your external factors. You might get that financial support that you're looking for. But the internal factor here is actually working on your craft. You see this person is working on their craft. This can symbolize you actually learning as much as you can about the subject before you start presenting it to others. King of Wands energy with the Ten of Wands comes forward. This is a very hardworking person and they will share their wealth they will share their ideas with you this can be your energy as well your hard work paying off and you're finalizing with the world card the fool's journey so it seems like you're setting off to a good start with the three of cups whatever that you're desiring you're going to have the chance to 
accomplish that very soon and you're gonna even celebrate that but i feel like that will open other doors for you it's not gonna end up being in that stage only you're gonna be opening up new doors which will have financial opportunities this can be um maybe promotion that you're getting on top of that the payment the extra money or the extra um income will be flowing too the world indicates that you're like with this this can even be a person that you're starting a business with your hard work will be paying off and you're going to receive massive success we have your ancestor here we have a trader exchange energy to create abundance coming ahead it aligns with the empress energy even though this is a masculine figure so we all have a certain amount of energy and what happens is we get drained day to day putting your energy and uh, gaining your energy first collecting it from the resources that are making you feel happy joyful more energetic is very important here but also this is stating that as an ancestor coming ahead um, you have a great energy that you can exchange it for abundance exchange it for money don't limit yourself into like one uh, this is the only thing that I know how to make. That's the only way I can make money. There are other ways here. It's actually being presented to you. And your energy is the thing, okay? Your energy is very valuable here. You are receiving everything uh, meant for you. But you need to cultivate that. Being authentically who you are also very important here. But it seems like there is a resource within you that will come to light. We have starfish. Listen to your soul's truth. Think less and feel more as your spirit animal coming forward. So seems like intuitively you already know what this gift is. That you can serve people and create massive wealth in your life. But your intuitive guidance is going to be important here. Listening to your inner guidance. Gut feeling. And maybe even through meditation. You can do after the meditation uh, automatic journaling in that you can receive that gift whatever that uh, uh, can attract a lot of energy and financial abundance into your life let's see your message of guidance here we have the spell singer cast spells of wonder and delight basically casting spells spelling out speaking okay uh, it doesn't mean like uh, making spells like a witch but i feel like here what you need to do you need to start speaking the things of wonder and delight speaking the things that you want to have in your life rather than talking about the things that you do not like anymore or you don't want to have in your life anymore okay focus on the things and speak out cast those spells that words spell those words out that you would like to have in your life love appreciation success money abundance wealth gold whatever it is that you want currently speak those into the reality okay all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye hello my beautiful aquarius welcome to your weekly energy update we're going to be looking into what's going on what's going to be happening in your life it's good to have a specific subject in your mind so you can get clear answers after this one we're going to be looking into your advice from ancestors spirit animal as well as the message of guidance i have here two of swords your current situation is you need to make a decision whatever is happening in your life you have to make a decision about it because the things are going to be evolving really fast page of swords is actually a decisive person this is your energy your decision making will upgrade your position from someone tied down in a chair here has nowhere to go to a person who's an authority figure as soon as you make the decision and uh, it is going to be a good one for you we have seven of cups here this is the factors in your life i feel like that's again cups energy emotional two of swords energy is logical logically you're having a hard time to choose maybe emotionally you have many options in front of you and that's actually uh you're feeling the um, the fear of missing out fomo i think that's what is like short for uh, you're feeling like if i don't choose this i'm gonna be lose that i'm gonna choose this i'm gonna lose this one whatever that is the fear of missing out maybe is stopping you here that's the external factor but the result let's see what the okay this there are two cards here but this one wants to come forth oh no okay this is the final result it seems like here you're going to okay this is the final card these are very thick the outcome is the victory when you 
actually select make the solution make the selection we have a massive victory showing up with the six of wands energy that's the final outcome here and this person you can see this knight is actually coming back from the war on a white horse white horse is a very good sign means your wish fulfillment in a very victorious way okay let's see two of swords energy again we have the six of uh, wands here you see he's coming back with on his white horse victorious as soon as you make the logical choice you're going to move on to the victorious part we have ace of wands with some page of swords like i said you're going to have the opportunity to upgrade from where you are to on a higher level ASO ones can be a new adventure a new job opportunity uh, maybe moving into a place that will actually be a new um exciting opportunity for you in life it can be something like that but this is actually about life changes massive life changes happening as soon as you make the decision seven of cups i feel like here emotionally when you make the logical decision you're going to be moving towards the emotional satisfaction as well really fast you're not going to be spending time in that dilemma did i make the right choice because you're going to start collecting those emotional fruits very soon it is going to be very clear and you're going to have like a lot of satisfaction seven of pentacles energy with the six of wands i feel like this is actually after the fact uh, you're planting seeds and the three of pentacles under it you are going to collect that achievement because three of pentacles as well as it means teamwork you're going to uh, gather around a people that are going to be the same like-minded and they are achieving success you're going to be creating amazing work together also with the seven of pentacles uh, you're going to plant your seeds very carefully and collect those seeds the result of the, those seeds very well this can be the partnership the friendships that you're forming at this moment or uh, the actions that you're taking the decisions that you're making like instead of being in between actually being decisive is going to be the key to achieve the victory this can be about also being decisive um, regarding the people that you're choosing as partners into your life okay let's see what's the advice from your ancestors here we have the father sky trust in the unknown okay so the choice that you're going to make is going to be someone or something that is not familiar to you what happens is usually like this uh, can happen in the relationships maybe you come across someone you feel the butterflies in your stomach you say i feel like i know this person forever if you have like a trauma in the past in the relationship that is called a trauma bonding you feel like you know that person because you know the trauma but if you are coming across with something a situation a job opportunity something that feels completely unknown to you this is a new thing this is a new experience and i feel like this is most of the time a better experience okay so trust in the unknown that know that everything is working out for your highest good for everything is working out for the better let's see which spirit animal will be guiding you throughout the week you can see this animal on tv no uh, yes you can i was gonna say maybe on the street or so we have a dragon here gaia's gateway excess inner uh, earth's inner wisdom this is about uh connecting with the earth elements can be water can be um what else you can connect with earth and like maybe make a clay pot that's also another way of connecting with the earth okay and also uh, water fire light up a fire maybe a candle that can be a guiding power for you as well if, uh, candle meditation I also want to see what the writer of the book actually intended. We have the fire here too. And the fire, I think this is water. Yes. No, it says water and air. Okay. Uh, dragons symbolize powerful nature and elemental spirits as well as transformation. They come to earth to offer their wisdom and guidance and to wake up parts of our brain and cells that have lain dormant. Dragons have a normal mystical energy aligning us to our soul's mission and to the earth and her healing. This card and its activations will bring a dragon to you or help you make a, the conscious link to your guardian dragon. It will come if you open your heart and call, it, call to it. This is like a more of a spiritual connection that you will have with your spirit animal this week. You can see it on TV or maybe see the messages of it and come across by it seems like here you are actually going to be guided to uh on a higher plane on a higher uh, vibration by dragon let's see your final message of guidance this can be some actionable steps let's see 
We have the Fairy Harper. Find the words to long forgotten songs and dance to the music in your soul. Okay, so this is about like a physical action. I feel like dancing can be a very useful tool for you to connect with this higher energy or intuition and maybe even knowing the unknown, the, the finding a trusty way to the unknown, finding connecting with your gut feeling, okay? All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your weekly energy update. If you have a specific subject in your mind, it is good to think about that so we can get specific answers for that one. Also, I will be pulling an advice from your ancestors, spirit animal, as well as message of guidance towards the end of your reading. Let's see what's happening, what's coming your way. Hmm. Asa wants is the opportunity of a new adventure. Whatever the situation is right now, I feel like it is evolving or it is about to evolve into something very fast. It is going to start moving on really fast. This can be, if this is a relationship that you want into your life, it is coming forward or this can be a new job development or a new endeavor that you will experience. It can even be something um, that is actually a travel the world kind of like um, opportunity. The things will evolve. The eight of swords we're going to be interpreting in breaking away, breaking free from the chains. Maybe you have been stable in a certain place for a very long time. And uh, you are, maybe this is mentally, I don't feel like this is physical, mental, maybe financial restraints are um, surrounding you. It seems like you're breaking away from that uh, restraints, okay? With the Queen of Swords energy, this is going to be the factors of decision. Your decision making, you're making up your mind and taking action towards it. It doesn't have to be action like full force, uh, doing as much as you can. It can be like a incremental uh, one day at a time type of action but this indicates that you are finding if this is like a fear that you have for example you're living in a city that you want to move to another city or a country or something like you want to change your jobs it is about actually knowing that you're not being tied down you can move away you can maybe if you're in a relationship you can actually get out of there but you have to act in a logical way and also a little nurturing way as well because we have the feminine libra here libra gemini aquarius energy so you have to be a little bit understanding towards yourself too and uh, when you make the decision you're gonna start to move towards your desire two of pentacles i have two of swords in the bottom i feel like here and the empress finally your victorious moment here um so you need to balance things out while you are stepping to this in new endeavor you need to make um strictly like the decisions has to be clear you cannot stay in between and then the empress energy you need to use some of your creativity i feel like when you do the world is going to be yours whatever that desire you have it will manifest much faster than you can fathom like i said this can be about maybe even i feel the moving energy with the ace of wands maybe also like starting something new energy we have the justice flipped here so the karma if you are stuck where you are maybe because of certain life choices that is going to come to an end as well king of wands is taking charge that yes your situation is going to evolve in a very fast way you're going to break through the strength is basically taming the lion whatever you're thinking that is holding you back you're going to come to understand that that's just a, maybe a thought you're going to evolve that into something that will bring even more success and strength to you we have the knight of cups here when you start making decisions you might even get emotionally fulfilling offers and the justice you're completing the karma justice coming ahead so even if you had to work hard um or had hard time to make a decision seems like everything is going to be evolving in a way with the empress is libra as well justice is libra as well everything is going to be going your way masculine way and the feminine way so your choices will be fulfilled you're going to be receiving your desires the creative things will actually satisfy your creative endeavors okay 
Well, let's see what's the advice from your ancestors. We have, this is ancestors or angels. We have actually ego came forth. See from a higher perspective. So um, I feel like it's about entrapment. Maybe you are where you are at this moment because of the life pushed you there or you made some choices. Now you ended up there. But have a higher perspective. How is it going to matter if five years down the line okay so you can make choices incrementally and change your current situation you don't have to be evolving everything tomorrow like a magic touch the justice is telling me that you're if you have been going through like a suffering way in a negative way that is also coming to an end now you're going to start collecting that fruit of the hard work the thinking patterns is going to be actually changing your life is going to be evolving in a better way your spirit animal is otter initiations be open through this transitional time yes definitely you are transitioning from this moment to the next another better opportunities are coming your way so being open seeing from a higher perspective this is all about actually having a free way of seeing rather than saying there's only one way this can happen actually you're upgrading yourself in a way that okay many ways this can happen and there are many options and i will experience that okay message of guidance this can be like an actionable step let's see we have she of the mossy ray not all things are as they seem trust in your intuition having a higher perspective is important maybe you're feeling stuck at this moment like we said before with the eight of swords energy here it is actually something that is working out for your highest good we have here the bird the intuition connecting two minds together logical mind and emotional mind another thing is this can be a relationship this can be a career choice this can be something that you actually have as a goal in front of you that you desire really uh, like uh, passionately but this passionate desire can be coming from a past coding past trauma it's not because your intuition higher self is guiding you towards that and it seems like the things are going to be evolving in a way that will be very beneficial for you in the future so if it's not really working on the pathway that you're uh, you know that you locked your gaze but through another way you know who cares it's at the end of the day it's about your peace happiness and success that's what matters the abundance in your life that matters okay all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye hello my beautiful gemini's welcome to your weekly energy update we're going to be looking into your tarot first then move on to your advice from ancestors spirit animal as well as the message of guidance if you have a specific event thing the something situation happening in your life it's good to focus on that we have the eight of swords energy coming ahead maybe you're having feeling trapped in a position let's see how that's going to evolve justice coming ahead so this can be a legal subject that you're locked up maybe a contract that you have signed up seems like justice is going to evolve the karma is going to start working on your behalf um if this is like i said a contract that you're binded it seems like it is going to be breaking through can be breaking through court system as well but you're gonna be this can be even like a contract that you had a verbal contract with someone or maybe something that um a situation that you stepped into willingly and thinking with a good intentions but turned out to be something locking you up the justice states that this will play out in the best way possible it is going to end up being a very successful endeavor for you you're going to be breaking out of there very soon the internal factors are king of cups your good intentions basically your good approach your loving approach to the situation will heal that king of pentacles now i'm starting to feel like this is a financial situation that you're in maybe is in the court or maybe even like um in the discussion or this can be like a job compensation that you're trying to get or maybe you are trying to resolve something so you can actually find a new opportunity move on to a new thing king of pentacles states that that uh, establishment that authority that structure will be coming into your life you're going to achieve massive success okay 
let's get clarification cards for these we have four of swords with the eight of swords so even if you're feeling locked up it is a good time for you to rest and recuperate maybe like i said you're waiting for another job's final decision so you can move on to another one and it seems like here you want to get this thing done really fast you have the air energy you want it to be done in a very quick period of time but i feel like four of swords is suggesting you get rest rest your mind rest your body do things for fun meditation prayer focus on your true intentions which you want out of life because that's actually an opportunity for you to rest in those period of time justice comes with the temperance so um success will arrive the things are evolving in a way that karma is trying to work for you but also temperance it indicates moderation is the key here too okay so when you receive your success when you receive the justice um over celebration is not the way to go you can be celebrating that but also knowing there is another aspect to it uh, as well okay but temperance also indicates keeping the balance okay not going overboard it is kind of like aligning with the justice it is going to come for you justice will be coming and you can actually take things in moderation too king of cups knight of cups definitely an offer coming ahead we have here the seven of pent no eight of pentacles your hard work is paying off whatever the energy that you're putting into this thing is going to come back multiplied okay let's see what's the advice from your ancestors if you have like a specific like um maybe question the ancestors can be giving you an answer about that okay let's see what you need to know at this time arrow surround yourself with protective energy we have a symbol coming forward for you so protecting your energy protecting yourself is very important at this moment arrow is sagittarius energy this can be also uh you having this fire the thoughts the ideas that you have that fires to the future keeping them to yourself and not sharing those valuable insights or informations that is going to be your op opportunity of wealth that you can use in the future let's see we're gonna have dolphins assisting you atlantis atlantis we have healing wisdom is surfacing stop and listen dolphins have communication skills basically like they have sonar and such so this can be connecting with like-minded people and um, this also says stop and listen so you can listen to your inner wisdom as well as the wisdom of like-minded people dolphins are enjoyable they like to have fun so also another thing is having fun can be a way for you to hear that inner wisdom as well okay let's see what's the message of guidance for you for this week we have the witch hair cross the threshold leap the hedge go over the wall so wherever that you're thinking that you're locked up the advice is mentally get out of that situation first i feel like that's like the first you have to free your mind free after you free your mind then your body will be free as well that kind of like the scene in the matrix um neo starts to jump off of the between the buildings first and then he falls because his mind is not free because he doesn't know he is capable of doing that achieving that success it seems like first you need to free your mind so you can go over the wall you can jump off that distance okay um that's i feel like first of all healing is important and then surrounding yourself protective energy and can be also with, with pe people who are protective of you too okay all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give us one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye